What's up, y'all? I'm Carrie. And I'm Dee Dee. And this is the Carrie and Dee Dee Show. What's up, people? So, uh, last week we did a um, tribute to Whitney Houston. Yes. And announced her death and, and whatnot. And Sad. we wanted to do an update um, on information, newly gathered information. It seems that her daughter is having a hard time, uh, as as she would. I lost a parent, and I understand how that goes. Um, apparently, she has been r- running away. You know what? Hmm? Um, you know what? She is getting high and running off because she can't take her mom being dead. This girl is 18 years old. Mm-hmm. And she is on drugs, apparently. And allegedly. I think allegedly she's on drugs and she's been running off getting high because she can't deal with the death of her mother. My thing is, you know what? Let me go back a little bit because the thing that disturbed me is, you know, I don't know if you guys watched her uh, funeral services that they held that was on Saturday. Saturday past, they refused while well, Bobby Brown was able to get in and, you know, give his condolences. But because of some type of seating arrangement, he was not able, you know, they kept moving him and his children, which they kept calling, calling his posse. And, you his know, his family was not his posse. Those, right. were, those were his I just, stepchildren. I was just, I was just, at a uh, time. I was just pissed with that because I'm like, why are y'all treating this man like this? Why are this? He, this is how he get to mourn his ex-wife by y'all treating him like this. He was, he said he was security stopping from seeing his daughter, uh, Bobby Christina, you know, they kept moving and moved him three times till, you know, he just was like, okay, you know, I can't deal with this and left, you know, he, he, um, you know, the the rumors that have been coming out that he, that, you know, people blame him for her death and for the fact that she was on drugs and stuff like that. I will say this. I will say this. He, I would not blame. I don't think he's responsible for her dying. He wasn't responsible for her getting on drugs. You know, she played a part in, in that. I hate to sound like that because I love Whitney, but I'm just saying I don't think that it's fair to blame it on Bobby Brown. You know what I mean? They weren't even together. It's like whatever they were doing in the past, they were doing it together. I don't think that it's fair that he's being treated this way. I don't think it's fair that he can't, you know, that um her mother is keeping him from seeing his daughter because I think at this point in time, she need him. That's the all her only parent left. She need him more than ever. So I don't think that it's fair that he's being treated this way. Whatever they did in the past was in the past. Now that her mother is gone, she needs his support. You know, now if he was not trying to give his support, that would be another story. But the fact that he is trying and, you know, like they said, Sissy Houston didn't like Bobby Brown from the beginning, allegedly. You know, so I don't know. You know, it's just um, they're saying he's a bad influence and all of this. I feel like, you know, both of them was a bad influence. Really? I mean, you got to call it what it is. So it's just like I don't appreciate I don't think that it's fair that he's getting all the this negativity and that he's being treated like this, you know, with his child and stuff. I think she really needs him. I think this is the time when they all should come together. His sissy, his everybody, all the family should come together and this should be the time where they embrace each other and say, you know what? Well, what do we need to do to help our to help his daughter now? Because now she's going through probably dealing with it worse worse than them. And it's like, so I think this would be the time for everybody to come together and all of them to say, you know what, we'll, let's look, put the differences aside, put the past behind us. Now we need to focus on her because we don't want to lose her too. So that's my take on that. I just think that was ridiculous. You know, I, I think that was ridiculous that he couldn't sit there and, 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 um, and remember Whitney, you know, with everybody I, I, else. I think it's sad that grownups can't come together at least at the funeral, to say, exactly. all right, look, let's put that aside. I don't like you, but you know let's what? Let's put this aside because this is your daughter and she's going to yes. need you instead of saying she's a, he's a bad influence. Well, she's getting away from y'all. It would be better to have a father in, the, in, in her path saying, sit your ass down. We're going to do this together. Or somebody and, that can and, talk and, to her. Maybe yeah, she- her, her dad, because trying to make him look like a Debbie dad, but remember, they were together as a family for right. 15 years. Yeah. It's only after they broke up that the daughter ended up being on drugs and, and things falling out of place. Now 
I wasn't around them at that time, so I don't know how that fell apart. I know that Whitney said that her mom came and got her, and they punked Bobby, left him on the street to, to die or whatever, and, and it seems like he got clean after right. some time and some mm -hmm. struggle. He and got clean, and she still was struggling. Mm -hmm. I hate every time that I, I turn on the radio or, or turn on TV, you got people saying, I hope Bobby steps up. What the fuck you mean, step up? Do you know that relationship? Did you know him? Did you know it with him? him? These are fucking rich people who I don't think they really had to step up. I think she had to get the fuck away from him and she had to listen to her parent tell her to get the fuck away from him. And it, when you're listening to a parent, because I grew up with, with, you know, fucking protective parents, when they telling you what they want and how they want it, mm -hmm. you kind of, you're, you're that child, so you go that way. Right. I, and I know what it's like when you Break a fam when a when a family member dies when a parent dies, mm -hmm. and someone steps in the middle saying that uh, this is how it's gonna go. I I understand what it's like what Bobby's going Bobby Christine is going through. Whereas like I, I look I, I'm 18 years old and I don't really want to fuck with you. I would like to see my father. I would like to just be around some people that I'm comfortable around. I don't know you. You are my mama's daughter, mm -hmm. not mine. I mean, you know, not my grandmother. I mean, not my mother. You were my mama's mother. So you can't really, you know, I don't agree with you. And you're out of my time span. And and really, you're, 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 sheltered, you're keeping me away from my daddy, who could probably be the one to change, you know, to give her some normalcy and 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 deal with that together. Because when, when it's all said and done, mm -hmm. it was Whitney, Bobby, and Bobby Christina. And that's the only part of her family that's missing, right? You, you know, yeah. Her mom's like, dead, and now you didn't took my daddy yeah, because he's I no good. I just feel bad for her. I really feel bad for her because, you know, this. What else? I and mean, then he's been through drugs yes. and and rehab, right, so, maybe so he, he can, can be really more open. And and then she got a host of siblings that she can be around. And you know, it's it's just you, you you you're throwing away a chance. Even if it's not you better. that gets her better, even if it's the low down rotten daddy that you don't like mm -hmm. getting her better, at least she'll get better. Yeah. Because at this point, from what I've been reading, what my wife has been telling me, it looked like she's on a one way ticket to a way bad place, a way yeah. bad place. Because she's running off, and and they say she's getting high and and all that. That's Listen, not the place you want her. That you want her daddy there. Spiraling out of control. Yeah, you want her like, dad. You want to. You really want to hand her to her her father. And her brothers and sisters, so that they can figure out how they gonna move on. They all need to, as help opposed her. to they all need to come together. So, I think well, if you're gonna be better. hateful and mean, she's running from you. Might as well hand her over. You know, look, look, Bobby, you gotta come in here. You gotta come in here and 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 and, and get your daughter. You gotta come in here. We thought we can do it, but we realized that she don't need this feminine love that we got that we was giving Whitney. She need you. She needs something masculine. She needs somebody who's been through what she's going through. And sorry, y'all. Been through what she's going through and came out. And plus he's a dad. As opposed to a grandma who ain't probably never used hard drugs. Mm -hmm. Oh. And ain't never use hard drugs. So, I, I just think that yeah. you're going about it all yeah, wrong. Yeah, that's just a hot mess, though, for real. I hope this girl gets some help. I hope the family just get her some help. She needs to get some help because she's too young for that. She don't need to, you know, she needs to get herself together. You know, so and she, I heard her sing. She has a beautiful voice. She can mm -hmm. sing. Bobby says she can dance. It's like, either, I don't know if she want to, you know, that's what she's going to pursue. But I know one thing where she's at right now she needs some support and she needs some help you know i think she should pursue school she's she she got or not she, leave music alone because that's an open road to drugs and everything she's that's, she missing her no mother and that. you know that's one thing you can't i mean they seem like they were really close you know mm -hmm. you can tell Whitney, they love each other and it's like i feel so bad for her i really feel bad for her. i really just wish she would just get the help and that they would just not try to blame Bobby Brown on every look. Whitney's thing. dead. You can't blame Bobby for you know for her taking like, prescription drugs. No, and, you can't and dying. blame him for her death. You can't blame him for that. They, 
you just can't solely blame him. You know, you have to consider their parenting together. It wasn't just him. It was her there too. And, and I mean, and all, with all due respect, like I said, she was with her mother for what? The six years or however many years after, after they got divorced, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, and even even if Bobby didn't have a a, a strong uh, place in her, in his daughter's life, then her influence was her mother. Mm -hmm. So it's like really, it's not the time to blame. It's the it's the time for y'all to get together because that them drugs that ain't nothing to play and, with. And it's like really you gotta because I I lost a parent and I understand what what you're going through, but right now is not the time to separate. It's no, the time it's to. Not. To figure out how yeah. we're gonna do this, mm -hmm. because Whitney was a big part of her daughter's life. Bobby loved her. She loved Bobby. It, it, you know, my sissy loved Whitney, and you know, it's, it's just they need to learn, start figuring out how we're gonna do this as a family, and 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 put our differences aside, as opposed to uh, focus on the differences, and then this child is spiraling out of control, and and every fucking thing is going crazy. We really need well, not we. They really need to do that. Do that because when I was my my mom passed when I was twenty five, we didn't get it. My dad and my brothers and I we didn't get a chance to to figure out how we were going to live with each other. We had somebody in the midst of that pushing us apart from each other. And right now, I don't speak to my you know dad very often. You know, on none of my brothers because we didn't get a chance to heal. We got separated and, and went crazy but I, I would really hope that they get that together yeah so you know we're gonna pray for them and hopefully they can work it out child yeah because right now they're being prayed upon but um yeah and the tribute was wasn't what i expected but it was nice well yeah. the funeral uh slash uh what they call it going away services Home going service. was, was nice it was nice it wasn't what i was expecting but it was nice that's all I'm going to say about that. But I love Whitney Houston. I love Bobby Brown. That was my favorite two singers when I was younger. I just can't see how so, they put her in the ground because uh, where she's I at. Because, you know, we went to Elvis' I house and that. they had tried to steal his body. But so maybe like, they put her in the in the tomb because cause somebody got that trying to dig that body up and they're going to really be destroyed. Oh, so and we I did. I did get a chance to see a picture of how she Ooh, looked in the cast. Yeah, I saw it. She looked good. She, she was looked beautiful. Good. She was a beautiful. She woman. looked good in the picture. She didn't look unusual. You know what I mean? She looked like herself. Mm -hmm. So that was a good thing. I think with these celebrities, they should just give everybody closure and just have, have the box the open. open. Yeah, and that way, there's no big sell on on on. They can't worry about yeah. Yeah, inquiry got five hundred thousand dollars. They gave to somebody. No, you you can literally. Have that box open and cancel Christmas, because yep. really they were, we were just as much a part of her as, as you were. You know, you gave her to us, and then you take her away from us when she dies. Mm -hmm. But may her soul rest in peace, and that's it. She's yeah, gone. You can't bring her back. I know it's gonna be hard for her to rest in peace. You know, you can't bring her back. She gone. That's it. That's mm -hmm. it. That's it. But y'all um, have a good one, and um, and and everybody. Pray for pray for Bobby and his daughter Bobby Christina and, and that whole family because prayer is the only thing that's gonna bring that to the way it needs oh, to yeah. be. Yes. Y'all happy? See you later. Bye. I'm